Hello, welcome to my channel, Sparkle It Up. We are kicking off the Memory and Time Diamond Painting event. This will be, like I said, the kickoff video. <laughs> We're going to do a little whipping chat. But also, I wanted to give you some details. The submission cutoff for this giveaway for the week one will be cut off on the 9th and the winner will be announced on the 10th which is next Thursday so you have until the 9th to put in your submission for it and then on the 10th I'll do another video and announce the winner there our week one prize is going to be a cover binder from Saban, the Zesty Fret Tray from Add More Zest, and a $15 gift card with DP with Sparklers. And let me remind you, if you are outside of the U.S. and you want these items, if you win, you are responsible to pay for shipping. I'm only covering shipping inside of the United States and $15 for outside of the U.S. So, anything over 15 outside of the U.S., you will have to pay for if you want. Okay. So, the items in the giveaway are going to be this blue zesty tray. And you get to pick one of these four cover minders. There's a puppy dog, a cow, a she is wild, and a heart. I will show you all. We've got this one, the She Is Wild and Free cover minder from Saban. We also have this orange cow. Well, it kind of looks orange to me. <laughs> the cow cover minder from Saban cover minders. Cover minder from Saban off of Etsy. And then we have the little heart cover minder. So during week one, whoever wins, you get to pick one of these four cover minders. And then we have the little doggy. And then the add more zest blue tray. It's like a light blue, baby blue color. And then the $15 gift card thing for DP with sparklers. Okay. And I am working on Carousel Dreams by Andy Russell from Diamond Art Club. And this is in memory of my son, Jacob, because we used to ride when I was pregnant with my second son. Me and my oldest son, Jacob, would ride the, we rode the carousel at the fair. And we rode that thing 24 times in a row because he just did not want to get off of that. So that was like a special memory to me. And so I wanted to do this painting in memory of him. My oldest son, Jacob, passed away in 2019. Okay, my... My drills are not wanting to stick to my pen right. <laughs> my sister keeps walking through here. But at the end of this video, or towards the end, I will give you the word that you're going to have to use in a sentence down below to be eligible for the prizes. And also, hopefully everyone has already posted their pictures in the Facebook group. And keep put posted in the Facebook group also 
your updated photos, your progress photos. So I can see how far you've gotten on your painting. You can do more than one painting, but only one painting will count for the entry into this event. So you can work on as many as you want, but only one will count towards the giveaway. And like I said, when you pick your painting and post it up and stuff in the group, you also have to fill out the, I did do a Google form, and on that Google form it asks you about the special memory attached to that painting and why you're working on that one, what kind of memory it holds for you. That's why this event is called A Memory in Time. I want you to think of a special memory behind what you are working on. Okay, let's see. I know my sister was in town visiting until, well, one of my sisters was in town visiting for the last two days. She just left today. I hate it when she leaves and goes back home. I always want to beg her to stay longer. She was only supposed to stay one night. My <laughs> mom talked her into staying a second night, so. That was good. We got to get her for two nights instead of just one. <laughs> uh, this picture is probably going to take me a while to even finish. I doubt I'll have this finished before the end of the month. This event does run until August 31st. That'll be... 31st will be the grand prize drawing. So that will end the event right there. My Etsy shop has opened. So far I've only sold one tiny minder and one putty, but... Here she comes! Hopefully more people will visit my shop and check it out. I am going to be making Halloween cover binders soon and Halloween diamond painting bunny for the uh, drills and chills coming up in October. So be on the lookout for those. And in those boxes, if you order anything, there will be special goodies just for Halloween. And who knows, I might throw in some extra goodies into these giveaways from stuff that I'm making for the shop that I have not posted up yet. Um, so, you might get a few little extra surprises with the zesty tray and the cover minder and the gift certificate. Which, I don't have the gift certificate, so if you win, you, I will have to let DP with sparklers know who won and then that person will have to I guess they will email that person or that person emails them we're working on the three tens right now uh. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, so hopefully I'm starting getting more videos out. I know I'll be doing at least one a week for this event. I 
don't really know what to talk about. <laughs> uh, I haven't really been doing anything except for making stuff for the shop. Ordering more supplies so I can make the Halloween stuff for the shop. So I want to have stuff out in time for the Drills and Chills event. Uh, way ahead of time, that way people can order in advance before Halloween gets here. Before the Drills and Chills starts. I know there's going to be some theme putties and some theme cover reminders. There's a piece of plastic stuff there still. I guess there was. I have to say, it felt weird. Put that drill down and like something ain't right. I just have no idea what to talk about. I really haven't been up to very much besides shop stuff. <laughs> Trying to come up with some new things for the shop. Like I said, visiting with my sister while she was here. I had started a little partial diamond painting from Diamond Art Club called Aud it was Autism Awareness Month. It's a really small painting. It's like a 32 by 32. And my sister finished that up for me while she was here. She didn't bring any of her diamond paintings. Well, she brought, she brought one of her diamond paintings with her. Me and her both bought the one called Kitten, Kitten and Cookies off of Diamond Art Club and she finished it while she was here and then so last night she worked on my autism awareness one and got it done and we are donating that one to the place where my grandson because he has autism we're going to donate it to the place where he goes for his speech therapy so they can hang it up in the clinic and everybody can enjoy it I am using my pen from Diamond Pen Pal. It says Mother's Love Never Ends. This is the pen they specially made for me. It's got the carousel horses in it. It's really pretty. I love it. I love this pen. Still hooked on my show, Nick, and I'm afraid. <laughs> I know it's weird, but everybody in my family thinks it's strange that I watch that show now, but it was good. They just ended one season, now they're starting with the Nick and I'm Afraid Castaway season, which is kind of interesting. Because the castaway ones, they have no map, no tools, no weapons, no nothing. They just get taken to a boat to an island. There's three different teams of three people, I think, surviving on different parts of the island. But they take them there by boat, drop them off kind of near the shore, make them swim 
to the island and they're only allowed to use whatever washes up on shore to survive with. So it's going to be neat to kind of see that. And then they came out with a new show called Survive on the Raft or Survive the Raft. And I think that's going to be really interesting to see because it's a it's a social experiment that was done 50 years ago that this guy is trying to do again where he puts nine strangers on a raft and they have to work together, eat together, live together on this raft. And they come from like all walks of life, all different beliefs and backgrounds and ethnicity all races and colors and religious beliefs and stuff like that so it's kind of interesting to see how it's gonna work out but I know they were saying that the people 50 years ago failed the experiment So I'm hoping we have progressed far enough to where 50 years later these people can pass the experiment. Also audiobooks I have bought all of my House of Night audiobooks. So I've listened to all those. I've started buying my Twilight ones. But so far I've only bought the Midnight Sun and the first Twilight book. I love listening to audiobooks. And then I ordered a Bible study book today. So I don't know when that'll be here. Probably be another week or two. So I just ordered it this morning. Maybe sooner, but who knows? Who knows when it'll get here? Me, yeah, I'm crazy. I talk loud and I talk weird. I got that southern drawl. <laughs> Probably aggravates everybody. <laughs> weird accent. I know it's probably strange that I have never shown my face on any of these videos. I do plan on doing it one of these days. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> I recently bleached my hair blonde. I'm a brunette. And I'm cut my hair really short and bleached it blonde. And the idea that I was going to dye it a teal blue. And then I didn't dye it until blue, so it's just blonde and black right now. Because <laughs> my roots are starting to grow back out. And I'm very self-conscious about the way I look. Because for years I was like 94 pounds. And mind you, I'm turning 49 this month. So I'm not the youngest person out there doing these videos. I'm probably not the oldest person, but I have problems with my anxiety, problems with depression. I had to have neck surgery years ago, which it took them a while to figure out what was wrong. Uh, so when I was pregnant with my daughter, with my youngest child, I had a lot of teeth that started to rot because I was getting sick a lot with her, and I was having potassium deficiencies, and so when I first 
noticed the lump on the side of my neck, my doctor kept wanting to say it was something dental. And I would go to the dentist, my dentist would say, no, it's something medical. We went back and forth like that for a year. Year, year and a half. So finally, I had all my teeth pulled out. Waited a couple of months. Went back to the doctor. And I was like, now you can't say it's something dental because I ain't got no teeth. So it's nothing dental. And they were still like, well, we don't know what it is then. So I went to a different doctor that was near my house. And before I even made it to the examining room, I was at the front desk checking in. He was like, I already know what that is. You need to be, get, go down here, have x-ray done from the imaging center, and then we need to get you set up for surgery right away. And it turns out that I had a carotid artery tumor. So I had a tumor sitting on the main vein in my neck that leads to your heart which is the carotid artery vein that leads directly to your heart. So two weeks after that doctor sent me to the imaging center, I had my surgery on my neck, which left me with kind of a slur to my speech. No teeth now. <laughs> I have tried several times I've went and had dentures made four to five times and they just don't fit or they cut my gums up and make them bleed so I don't wear my teeth. And so I just don't want there to be any judgment of my appearance. If I do decide to show my face on camera. I've done Twitch for years and I rarely show my face on there either. I'm just like, I don't want people looking at me and being like, ugh, she's gross and ew. She ain't got no teeth and she ain't. She's always slurring her words and it's already bad enough when you have depression and anxiety, but add people putting you down on top of that and it makes it a lot worse. Okay, let me see what color we're gonna do next. I think we're gonna do some of these red the use and I can find it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't even remember when I started this painting. It's been a while. I need to do the twos. So I'll go ahead and get those out. And then get ready to use that are red. Okay, so I think I need to just pour a few of these into here because we don't need that many. Well, actually, we're going to need a lot of them since I didn't notice it. Most of these are twos. And around here, around the edges, so... I just thought it was these little orange ones in here. But there's more. Daddy's been like really horrible for the last couple of weeks and hopefully it's calming down again now.
it seems to be a lot lower than what it was. I don't know how much of this I'll actually get down on, done on this whipping tip. I don't want to go too long and make this a super long video if we all have to watch. <laughs> and I don't know what time I started it. Uh, I think I started around... I don't even know what I'm Started at 3, so we've been going about 36 minutes now. So I'll probably you over a little while longer. About another 30 minutes or so. Well, a little less than 30 minutes. That way it'll be at least an hour long. But I'll continue to work on this. Even after the video is done. That way I can finish this big section that I've got opened up now. Because I don't want to leave it undone. Especially since it is uncovered now. I've done cut the plastic off and it was sticking everywhere. And there's bits of plastic that I couldn't get off. So I had to start just cutting at weird angles to get all the plastic off of this area. Hopefully my voice sounds fine this time. Hopefully y'all can hear me. And there's no sound issues. If there is, let me know in the comments below. Well, actually, don't let me know. Well, let me know, but make it in a separate comment. Because one of your comments has to be for the giveaway. And if you're not interested in the prizes, please don't enter for the giveaway if you're not interested in the prize for the week. So if you don't want the zesty tray and the cover minder and the $15 gift certificate for DP with sparklers, do not enter for this week leave it to people who actually want that prize because there are three other prizes coming up so you might want one of those instead of what I'm giving away this week because we still got the tray from Lexi Sparkles coming up we've got a diamond painting pen from Diamond Pen Pal and we've got a painting from Jada Gym Shop So if you don't really want the diamond painting tray from the Add More Zest, that's what I'm using right now is my pink Add More Zest tray. And they're only $9.95 on her website. They're not. That's why I put that in the week one giveaway along with one of the cover minders. And a $15 gift card for the DP with sparklers. And again, if you are international, I am asking if, that, if you're outside of the U.S. that you pay for shipping. Because I cannot afford it. I am on disability. I can't afford to ship outside of the U.S. I can cover up to $15 of it, and that's it. So if you're not willing to pay for the shipping and you live outside the U.S. and you want one of these prizes, then I'll have to draw another winner instead. I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. It's just I can't afford the shipping. I 
that's why you don't see hundreds of paintings in my stash. I've been collecting my paintings since 2020, 2021. And I still probably get like 20 paintings in my diamond painting stash. It takes me a while to save up for even one. Because I have other bills, stuff I need to take care of most of the time. And that's another reason I wanted to do this event, is so that people start to think about the paintings that they're doing. Because I know for me, it's not about buying something that looks pretty, even though I like the, I like all the paintings that I see just about. But I have to stop and think, okay, am I actually going to hang this up somewhere? Or is it just going to get tossed to the side, thrown under my bed, thrown in a closet? Or am I just going to give it to somebody because I ain't got nowhere to put it? And I want to just keep the ones and buy ones that I'm going to actually hang up, display, for everybody to see and for me to enjoy, and not just to be doing them because everybody else is doing those paintings. When I put something up, I want it to be something that is a memory for me. Every painting that I buy, especially the big ones that cost a lot of money, are ones that hold a special memory for me. Not meaning that to demean anybody's stash size or anything like that because you can afford them go for it <laughs> I just can't afford to buy a lot of them and so I know there's probably a lot of people out there that are on disability or on a budget that really can't afford a lot of them so I'm just trying to make those of you who don't have a lot of money to be spending on paintings that do want to do the better quality ones instead of Amazon or AliExpress and stuff like that stop and think about where you're going to hang it what kind of memory it has why you want it And that way it actually means something to you and you'll actually want to hang it up somewhere. Even if it's like a cartoon character from your childhood. Or a cartoon that you watch with your kids or a landscape that reminds you of a place that you've been to. Or like me doing the carousel because it reminds me of riding the carousel with my son. I know I have a lot of Harry Potter diamond paintings, so I got four Harry Potter diamond paintings in my stash. I have Ron, Hermione, which Hermione's already done. And I have Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, I have the Sorcerer's Stone, and I have the Chamber of Secrets diamond paintings. And even those hold special memories for me because those were books and movies I used to watch with all three of my kids. I would read those books to my kids as bedtime stories. And then when the movies came out, we would go to the movies or I'd buy the DVD and we'd watch them together and it's just special memories. And even now I still love watching the Harry Potter movies. I still love the books. 
I definitely love the paintings. The only one I don't think I'll ever do is the Harry and Voldemort one. Only because it looks too creepy and I don't want that painted up in my room for me to be staring at at night. Because I only have one bedroom to hang stuff up in. I can't hang stuff up in the rest of the house because this is my mom and her husband's house. Then I do do some paintings for my mom's husband that he hangs up at his houseboat. And then I do buy some paintings and give them to my nieces or nephews or my sister. already have my drills and kills painting picked out for this year. I'm going to be doing voices from the other side. That's one that's in my stash that I want to do for Halloween. I wanted to do it last year for Halloween, but never got around to it. So hopefully this Halloween I'll get around to doing it. And then I've already got my Jingle Drills picture picked out for Christmas that I want to do, which is the gingerbread house. The first one that ever came out, not the second one. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to actually working on all those other ones too. But in order to do that, I gotta finish some of the ones I already have. I gotta finish this one because I've already started it. I still got pride going, and I still have woman and gold going. But I want to keep working on this one until it's done, and then I'll focus on either pride or woman and gold. I like the pride one, but I just don't know if I will hang it up anywhere. Want this done. I've been working on that one for a long time because I bought it when it came out. Like in 2020 or 2021, I bought that one. And I started it. And still haven't finished it. So I just don't know. I kind of lost interest in that one. But I still have it put it up and ready to go, so want to at least finish it. Along with the woman in gold. Which the pride and woman in gold really don't have a special memory for me. I bought those and really wasn't thinking about the fact that am I really going to hang this up and stuff like that when I bought them. With the woman in gold, I was like, I wanted it because I saw a bunch of other YouTubers that did it. And I love the special drills. I think it's really beautiful. Really pretty. It's a sun old master, so it's a summer with a master painting that I was working on for a while and it's from Diamond Dots but I'm not saying anything about Diamond Dots bad about Diamond Dots but the symbols some of the symbols are so hard to read I have to squint my eyes and my eyes start to water and I'm just like 
I can't see these symbols. It makes my head hurt after a while. And so I can't work on that one for very long at a time like I can. Like with Diamond Art Club, all their symbols are really crisp and clear. I can tell the difference between every single symbol. But for some reason when I'm working on that one, I just, I have a hard time seeing the symbols clearly. And like I said, it gives me a bad headache. I did buy the Krabby Patties one, which is a Spongebob one. Got Spongebob and Gary and Patrick and Squidward in it. And that's another cartoon I used to love to watch with my kids, so I still like watching Spongebob. Bob still one of my favorite cartoons. And so is Strawberry Shortcake, and I know that they've come out with a lot of Strawberry Shortcake diamond things, but that's not the Strawberry Shortcake I grew up with. <laughs> so I just don't know if I'm going to end up buying any of those or not. Unless they come out with ones that look more like the characters that I'm used to seeing. I still watch Strawberry Shortcake all the time on YouTube. I watch. I love that Strawberry. I love Strawberry Shortcake cartoons. Let me check and see how long we've been going now. And I already showed off the items for the giveaway in the beginning. So if you want to enter for the first week's prizes, this is what you need to do. Make sure you have filled out the Google form. Make sure you have joined the Facebook event page. If you have Facebook, that way I can see your updated pictures. But to enter the giveaway itself, your keyword this week that you're going to make a sentence out of or even a little short paragraph on here under the comments is memories. Okay. Yeah, memories. So make sure you use memories m-e-m-o-r-i-e-s in a sentence or a paragraph in the comments down below to be eligible for the first week's prize drawing like i said the cutoff date the last day that you'll be able to comment on this video is going to be midnight on the 9th which is next wednesday and then the drawing will be on Thursday. So next Thursday we will be doing the drawing for the first winner. And then I will be announcing. I will be showing the prizes for week two. And the word for week two. So we will be doing a video every Thursday. So I know this video is coming out on a Tuesday. But the rest of the videos will be out every Thursday. So if you want to see if you won or not, you'll have to come back next Thursday. Make sure you comment down below. Fill out the Google Doc form. And then come back next Thursday to see if you won or not. And I hope all of you have good luck. And 
hopefully you enjoy this event and you're gonna have fun working on your paintings and I can't wait to see what everybody's working on and the progress photos and it's just gonna be so much fun But I am going to end this video here for today. I thank you all for watching. Like I said, make sure to fill out that Google Doc form and then leave a sentence or a paragraph below using the word memories somewhere in that sentence. And I will see you next Thursday. To announce the winner. I hope you all have a great day. I love y'all. And I'll see you next week. Bye.